Start by getting yourself a pair of dark blue men's dress pants. You can pick them up for a couple of bucks at a secondhand shop. And then get yourself some red ribbon, an inch wide, and a navy blue fabric dye marker. And then you're just going to draw thin navy blue strips about a half inch apart all the way down the ribbon. You're going to do two sets of ribbon, one for each side of the pants. So you want to make sure they're long enough to go all the way down the side of the pants. Then you're just going to put some hot glue on the back of the ribbon and start hot gluing them all the way down the sides of the pants. Mine had pockets, so I left those open. And then you'll just run the ribbon all the way down on both sides of the pants. And here's what you should have. So then for the holster, you just want to cut these pieces out of some brown distressed fabric. And I did this by tracing the gun and leaving a one inch out round all the way around it. And then I cut pieces out of Pellon the exact same size. And then you just want to shrink those Pellon pieces, because it's thicker than the fabric, by cutting off a quarter of an inch all the way around. So then lay your holster pieces with the right sides together. And you're just going to sew all the way around, leaving the top part open, just like that. And so leaving it inside out, you're going to want to hot glue your Pellon on each side of the holster. Mine's a little bit shorter than it should be because I ran out of Pellon and I wasn't going back to town for another two weeks. So I just kind of had to improvise, but you want to make sure that your pieces of Pellon go almost all the way to the top of the brown. So then you'll just glue those on both sides. And then this is how I improvise. I just ran another piece up near the top to give it the firmness. And so then once you've got your Pellon pieces glued on, you want to turn the holster right side out. And it's a little bit difficult with the Pellon. It does take a lot of pushing to get it right side out. So you just have to play with that for a few minutes until you get it totally flipped right side out. Just like that. And then you just want to fold down the top layer of the distressed fabric and hot glue that in place. And then you can just slide your gun in and pull it back out. So then I got a second hand belt and I cut a piece of distressed fabric three inches wide. And I laid the belt on the wrong side of the distressed fabric. And then just very carefully on the back side of the belt, I hot glued the distressed material onto it. And I didn't glue it tightly because I wanted to leave it a little bit of room to make the belt look bigger, so it's about a half an inch bigger on each side. So here's the belt once I've got the fabric glued around it. And so then you want to cut yourself kind of a Y shape out of the distressed fabric. And then I don't know why this part of the video is so bad, but you just want to drill a hole through the belt and then slide the Y on the back side of the belt and drill a hole through that as well. Then you just want to take a brad and slide that in through the hole in the Y fabric and then in through the hole in the belt. And then this is the back side of the belt with the brad through it and spread the tails out on the front. They will later get covered up so you can put the tails on the front. Then on the back side, that's the front side, on the back side of the Y, I hot glued some Pellon to make it stiff, and then I folded over the edges and hot glued them under to give them a sharp, crisp look. And then you just want to set the holster part on the bottom of the Y. You're going to take some more brads and drill some holes through the holster and the Y. And then you just slide the brads in through the holes and spread out the tails on the back side. And so then you attach the other side of the Y with two more brads. This time you want the shiny side up and the tails on the back side because those will be seen. And so then for the belt buckle, I just cut the piece out of cardboard and gave it several coats of metallic silver paint. And then you'll just glue that on the right hand side of the Y, the center of the belt. So for the little utilities that Han has on his belt, I just grabbed a stack of cardboard, wrapped it up in some brown distress fabric, and glued the edges in the back, then I glued four of them onto the belt. The ones on his belt in the movie are actually multiple shapes, but I just made it simple. So to keep the bottom of the holster from flopping, I just took another belt, a thin one, and I cut off most of it and drilled some new holes in it. So 
That way it still works like a belt, but it's much smaller and it's tight enough to go around a leg instead of a waist now. And so then I just hot glued that onto the bottom of the holster. And so then here is the finished costume.